Congress passed the Women's Army Auxiliary Corps, allowing women to uh, serve in a women's reserve. It was the first time for women to serve a special women's service. Um, it was for freeing a man to fight for the duration of the war plus six months, and then after that it would be disbanded. Their jobs were to hold jobs that would free a man from doing phone operators, clerical work, things like that. So they had only about four classifications that they could work in at that time, which stenographers, clerks, phone operators, but expanded to just about every job in the military, um, excluding combat. So the pictures that you see in a lot of the displays here are women doing non-traditional roles, mechanic work, their airplane mechanics, and, um, vehicle mechanics, like the, the Jeeps. The Women's Army Corps was able to go overseas and they did serve in every theater during World War II. The Navy and Marines and Coast Guard stayed stateside up until January of 1945 where the Navy, the Waves, and the Women's Marines were able to go to Hawaii and help over there. Our WASPs, they were the first women to fly military aircraft, however, they were not, they, did, they actually went in under the Army Air Force Air Transport Division to ferry aircraft. When they were disbanded shortly before the war ended, they just left, they just said goodbye folks. Unfortunately, they didn't receive any military benefits but they were trained in the military way at a military um, Air, Air Force base in Texas. Up until that point, if you wanted to be, if you were a woman, you wanted to be in the service, you needed to be either in the Army, the Navy, the Coast Guard, or the Marines. And these guys sort of slipped in under some sort of a wonderful bureaucracy. Um, they were to ferry aircraft in the United States. They towed the anti-aircraft tow targets for um, practice for the guys, which was using live ammunition. Thankfully, there were no casualties. Um, finally, though, in 1977, these uh, wonderful women were given proper military credit and the benefits to, uh, to match with that. So uh, they really were in the military. They just sort of slipped in under what should have been the, the wax and so forth.